For the better part of two decades, mixed martial arts has been universally regarded as one of the most thrilling and fast-paced sports available. The sport is about more than simply the combatants. It also highlights their training, motivation, and backstories. While the fighter in question today is the one who has earned his title in just four matches, yes, you know him as Alex Pereira. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most phenomenal fighters in the MMA, Alex Pereira. So, let us begin. Alex Pereira's life is a remarkable tale of triumph over adversity and a meet to her rise to the top of his profession. The São Bernardo do Camo favela in São Paulo, Brazil, was a difficult environment in which to grow up. Few doors of opportunity opened up for him to get an education or move up in life in the neighborhood he grew up in, which had a reputation for crime and low income. Pereira despite this was bound and determined to improve his situation. He quit school when he was 12 to work in a tire store and save up for a car or motorcycle. Yet drunkenness in his youth made it difficult for him to achieve his goals. He spent a great deal of his young adulthood struggling with alcoholism and drug dependency. Pereira didn't figure out how to change his life until 2009. He found kickboxing and fell in love with it, realizing that it would help him focus his energies in a constructive direction. Although Pereira had a hard time at first maintaining the discipline necessary for training, his talent and strength as a striker soon became obvious. In 2014, he broke through as a kickboxing sensation by claiming victory in the Glory Middleweight competition. For the Glory Middleweight Championship in 2016, Pereira fought Simon Marcus. Many people expected Marcus to win since he was the more experienced fighter and because he had already won numerous world titles. But Pereira was plotting something else. Pereira started off strong attacking Marcus with a flurry of punches and kicks right after the bell rang. He was able to zero in on his opponent's weak spots and unleash a barrage of blows once he discovered his range. In the second round, he knocked Marcus out with a beautiful spinning back fist. The bout ended when the referee waved it off, and Pereira was declared the new glory middleweight champion, which he successfully defended a total of five times. Following his accomplishments in kickboxing, Alex Pereira decided to compete in mixed martial arts MMA, bouts to hone his talents in the cage. Nevertheless, he was rather unskilled in the many elements of MMA that he would need to improve upon when he made his MMA debut at the age of 28. His first fight ended in a submission loss, but he didn't let that deter him. In 2016, he returned to the ring in his homeland of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and won both of his bouts by knockout. After achieving such success in mixed martial arts, Pereira refocused his attention on kickboxing, and took a roughly three-and-a-half-year break from competing. When he finally returned to the ring in late 2020, however, he looked like a completely different boxer. He moved up to the light heavyweight division in an effort to demonstrate his pound-for-pound -pound dominance and won the interim divisional gold medal, before going on to claim the undisputed title a few short months later. At this point in his kickboxing career, Pereira was a formidable opponent, a well-rounded striker with one of the greatest left hooks in the game. He had compiled an excellent record in kickboxing, and he was the first fighter to simultaneously hold two belts. Even though his two wins over Israel at Asania were impressive, his career's crowning achievements were after he left the ring. In 2021, when he retired, he was widely considered the best middleweight and light heavyweight boxer in the world and a pound-for-pound -pound top 10 fighter. His plans for the future of combat sports included more than just kickboxing, though. Like his great opponent Israel at Asania, Pereira had been picking up mixed martial arts fights here and there during his tenure in the ring to gain the experience he would need to fill out his game. After Alex Pereira's first professional fight, Dana White and the UFC noticed him thanks to his first-round knockout. Israel Adesanya, an old foe of his, had risen to become the unbeaten champion of the middleweight division in the UFC. Many people assumed that the UFC signed the 34-year-old kickboxer in the hopes of feeding him to the last style bender. Still, Pereira showed a lot of promise in the UFC in his first two fights. He aimed to improve his whole skill set so that he could counter the numerous challenges posed by elite middleweight competitors. The UFC took a chance on Pereira by giving him a top five middleweight fighter after he knocked out Andres Mihalitis with a flying knee in the second round of his debut and put in three strong rounds against Bruno Silva in his follow-up performance. Unfortunately for Dana White, time was not on her side. He had to move quickly if he wanted to rebook the UFC bout between Alex Pereira and Israel Adesanya. This is why Sean Strickland was selected as Pereira's third UFC opponent, who is a huge step up in competition. 
Nonetheless, this was a contest with the potential to shed light on many mysteries surrounding Pereira's fighting technique. A turning point in Alex Pereira's UFC career was when he defeated Seam Strickland, as the fight established Pereira as an obvious striking superiority over the great majority of middleweights. Despite Strickland's reputation as a powerful puncher, he made the error of standing and trading blows with Pereira. In a matter of seconds, after figuring out Strickland's pattern, Pereira caught him with a powerful left hand and knocked him down for good. The longer Pereira stood with his opponent, the more time he had to figure out their game, and his timing traps and clean technique all seemed to be on another level. There was a significant probability they would be defeated if they didn't pull him out of his element. With this victory, the UFC's gamble on Pereira was paying off, and a new contender at 185 pounds had been established. With a win against a major opponent under his belt, Pereira had earned a spot in the top 10, and his amazing performance on the main card of the pay-per-view event had established him as a true contender. Interestingly, Israel Adesanya was the main event on the same card. It was evident that there was room for a new challenge after Adesanya dispatched Jared Cannonier, so the fight between Pereira and Adesanya was conceived as the main event of UFC 281. While their third pairing would prove to be no different than their last two times, Alex Pereira did it again and we had a new champion. Alex Pereira has once again proven himself and he is now the champion. Their main event at UFC 281 was strikingly similar to their second fight in kickboxing. Almost immediately, Israel Adesanya did significant damage to him and was picking him apart. The long-standing middleweight champion appeared to be ahead after three rounds, leaving the final round as a must-win for Pereira. Then he did it again, mounting a remarkable comeback. Pereira pressed and found a place for his signature power blows, severely injuring Adesanya and unleashing a flurry to stop him on his feet. Adesanya objected to the halt, but it seemed lawful to me. Many times throughout the fight, Adesanya injured and tired out Pereira, but he also let him off the hook. Adesanya, as he has done in many of his recent battles, backed off and reduced his output, allowing Pereira to regain his footing and sustain his power in the fight until the very end. Whether it was a repeat of an old mistake or just carelessness, Adesanya lost his title belt by putting himself in positions that he simply did not have to pursue. So now that he was at the top of the world, many would have expected that Pereira would take some time to relax. Well, heavy is the head that wears the crown. In a recent announcement, UFC President Dana White stated that Alex Pereira's rematch with longtime adversary Israel Adesanya would be the main event of UFC 287 on April 8, 2023. The location has not been decided upon yet. We can bet that this fight would be another one for the history books as Adesanya will look to redeem himself while Pereira would look to retain the crown that he fought so hard for. So that is all the time we had today folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. See you all next time folks.